<laughs> All right. So basically what we're going to go over here is basically head clinch drills to just work on the fundamentals of developing head control in a bow hurt fight. Um, first steps, you want to start this training with just a basic slow city swim, working on the technique, trying to be slow and efficient. As you start moving through this, you can slowly start adding in some footwork, start moving around, keeping this tight. And this is just a basic technique aspect of that. Once you feel smooth and uh, comfortable with that, you can start adding in some blocks and all that is is just an elbow tuck in. You're trying to prevent that. And again, we're working slowly with this, still letting our partner go through with the technique, but feeling what that block feels like. So as we slide to start through, we're trying to prevent that with that elbow block. And you can move through this as well. All right. So that is like kind of the second level. Uh, the third <laughs> level, we can start adding in some uh, hand control. So our alternate hand, if we're here, can start adding in a little manipulation. We can start pulling here. We can start grabbing this hand pulling. We can start coming up under the shoulder and just little things like this along with that swim. So now we can start adding in that elbow and hand control as part of this. All right, so lastly, we're trying to kind of put all that together in a just you're looking for a head clinch. So the goal is to actually get a double head clinch and pull it in tight hands high on the head. This is what we're looking for. This is the advantage you're going to do. You have a lot of offensive positions from this spot right here. So that's ultimately what we're trying to get to. Uh, we'll go probably 70, 80%. We may or may not get that position. Well, we'll let each other have that position. Uh, and then we'll talk about some defenses after that. So that is ultimately where you're looking for. You're looking to get that double head clinch. When you get that head control, it's a huge advantage in a uh, bovard fight. Now we're gonna show just a couple defenses of how to get out of it. So if my opponent is starts to get me in that double clinch, first thing that I'm gonna work on is just stepping, dipping away, and getting distance from my opponent. So as he starts to pull me in, I wanna recognize that I'm losing this and he's pulling me in. I'm dipping and stepping out. So that's like first line of defense on how to get it away from that head clinch. Uh, secondly, if they lock it in, they get it in tight, we want to look for a head push. We're trying to get under that helmet or under that chin and press ourselves away from him, opening your chest. And from this position, I can lock him out, grab his hand and get out of that uh, head position. If they are a much stronger opponent than you, uh, we have a third option. You can double hand this. You can push this out and get yourself out from that position as well. So those are kind of our three basic defenses of that head control. But head control is huge in uh, steel fighting. You want to be a master of head control and how to defend against it. Yes. Yeah.